Hello guys and welcome again to this edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's topic, so we are going to talk about Dynamo. So this is the introduction for our uh, Dynamo class. So as of this moment, I'm still learning how to use Dynamo. So I'm not expert yet in Dynamo. So please bear with me. So I'm just trying to do all the best that I can uh, do for you guys okay so i'm starting to learn dynamo and hope you like this series of videos that i'm going to create now first thing off uh, what is dynamo okay so dynamo is a visual programming for design and bim okay so it is quite literally what you make it so Working with Dynamo may include using application either in connection with other Autodesk software or not, engaging a visual programming process, or participating in a broad community of users and contributors. Okay, so for this one, we will be using the Revit plugin. Okay, so we will be downloading the Dynamo from the Dynamo website. I'm going to show you that on my future videos. So, this tool aims to be accessible for both non-programmers, just like me, and programmers alike. So, it gives users the ability to visually script behaviors. So, we are not going to write programs, but we are going to do it visually. That's why it's called visual programming. So, we'll be defining custom pieces of logic and script using various textual programming languages. Okay, so we will be downloading the plugin uh, Dynamo for Revit. So that's our uh, Dynamo. It's a visual programming for uh, design and BIM. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. Okay, so once you have installed the application, Dynamo will enable us to work within a visual programming process. So this is the process in Dynamo wherein we connect elements together to define the relationships and the sequences of actions that, compare, uh, that is composed of custom algorithms. Okay, so I have no idea what is this algorithms that they are talking about. So we'll be using these algorithms for a wide array of applications, from processing data to generating geometry, all in real time. So we'll be able to see uh, straight away the things that you have made on your Dynamo to your Revit, okay, all in real time and without writing a code, okay, just like what I've said, we are going to do a visual programming. So we will be adding elements, connect, and we are off and running with creating visual program. So this is the process. So the process for the Dynamo is that... Um, you are going to put input or inputs, and then after that, so you will be uh, putting a list of instructions, nodes of list of instructions, and then after that, the output, just like what I had here on my last slide, which is this one. So as you can see, you have here the inputs, and then you have here the list of commands, okay? So what are the process? Okay, and after that, uh, th this is the instruction, and then you have here the output. So that's the process. So you have the inputs, you have the list of instructions here, and then you have the output. Okay, so in Dynamo, each node, okay, we call these nodes, okay, so we call these nodes. So each node performs a specific task, okay. So, like, for example, this one, so it, per, uh, it looks for coordinates. So, you need to put here to the input, and then you can see here the output, okay? So, nodes have inputs and outputs, right? Just like this one. So, these are the inputs, and then this is the output. So, the outputs from one node are connected to inputs on another using wires. So, as you can see, we have here lots of wires. So, the program or graph flows from node to node through the network of wires, all right? So the result is a graphic representation of the steps required to achieve the end design, all right? So 
One of the strengths of Visual Programming and Dynamo in particular is ready access to library of nodes. So instead of having to remember all these nodes here, okay, the exact code you need to type to perform a certain task, so in Dynamo, you can simply browse the library to find the node that you need. Okay, so don't worry about that. So you don't need to memorize all the things. Just like what I have said, there are libraries wherein you can download all these uh, nodes. Okay. Right, so we are talking about a while ago algorithm. So what is this algorithm? I actually have no idea about this algorithm. So I just checked Google about that. And the algorithm is a process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem-solving operations, especially by a computer. So, so basically, we will be doing algorithms in Design and BIM. So there are lots of benefits if you use algorithms in Design and BIM. Okay? Basically, there are lots of benefits if you use Dynamo. Okay, so what are those? So, it can automate re repetitive tasks. It can access your building data. It can explore multiple design options, performance testings. So, these are just some benefits of Dynamo. Okay, so there's a lot of things. There's a lot of options that you can do. There's a lot of things that you can do to automate your project using Dynamo. So, because Dynamo users tend to be architects, engineers, and construction professionals, the set of problems that Dynamo is most open used to solve are analyzing the BIM data, uh, automa automating tedious and repetitive documentation tasks, what else? Uh, exchanging information between software formats, uh, formats that sometimes don't always play uh, together nicely all right so hopefully you are already excited on our learning how to use uh, dynamo and another thing one contributing factor to dynamo success is its user community all right so as you can see you can go to the website dynamo okay and then from there you can meet Lots of people, you can ask questions there, or sometimes your question might already been solved, so you just need to browse the, the, commu the user community. And also, in addition to providing help on its forum, all right, Dynamo users can also create node libraries or packages and upload them to a central repository. So this repository can be searched directly from inside of Dynamo, just like this one okay so you can search for a package here and to install the package simply click the download button and it will uh, directly install it into dynamo okay right okay so basically that's this is just an introduction for dynamo so let's start to learn okay on my next video, so we will be talking about the user interface. Oh, I maybe let's talk about how to install it first. Where to install it, where to download it, how to install it, and let's try to explore the user interface of Dynamo. So, thank you for watching, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And before we end this one, uh, thank you to Mr. Ian Siegel. So uh, I've been watching his videos where he discussing uh, Dynamo and it really helps a lot. Okay, so thank you for him and also to Dynamo Primer. Okay, so these are the materials that I've been reading uh, to start learning Dynamo. Alright, so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.